enemy wants your soul, mm. but he don't want you to know it's him. So he uses people that don't really know that they're being used. They think they're defending themselves. So what happens is these people end up projecting their anger, insecurities, lack, whatever it is on someone else. You take it personal, y'all get, get to fighting and the enemy is happy. Or there is a, 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 whether it's a gospel artist, a church, at your job, whatever it is, an issue, a lack, a, a miscommunication somewhere, and instead of dealing with the issue, you deal with the person so the problem never goes away. The enemy just ass assigns that problem to somebody else to come in your life and wreak havoc in your life. Scripture says, submit yourself therefore to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. He is always who we're fighting, never people. Listen, I've been attacked in the media, I've been attacked by other believers, by other artists, you know, gospel and non, you know. And what I've learned is to stand strong in who I am because the moment I start focusing on them and proving to them that they are wrong, then I, I get off my path. That's not my purpose. God didn't put me on here to fight other people to prove who I am. That's not my purpose. It is not your purpose to fight the pastor because you didn't like what he said because you felt like he was preaching about you. Was he preaching about you? Is it true what he said? Did you actually do what he preached on? Why don't you focus on getting that right instead of trying to find out who told him? I'm, I know you talk. I know you talk. Who cares? These are the small things that distract us. It's a scripture that says it's the little foxes that destroy the vine. You think it's the big things that's going to take you down? It's not. It's the little things that steal your focus and steal your attention and make you focus on dumb stuff. What does she say? Or even mindlessly getting caught up in social media and just scrolling and scrolling and scrolling, never educating or trying to get smarter. Mm. I tell my daughter all the time, Krista, I feel like you just got 10 times dumber by that show you just watched for two hours straight. Don't do it. Mm. We got to realize there is a purpose and a destiny on our lives. And that's what the enemy wants to steal. He ain't after your job. He don't need your money. He don't need your marriage or your kids. It's your destiny and your purpose that he's after. Don't be fooled by the enemy. Don't be distracted by what's happening. We are never fighting people. Always the enemy. Always the spirit that is trying to come against you. Always the spirit that's trying to break you down. Always the spirit that's trying to get you off your path. Stay on your path. Stay focused on your destiny and your purpose. The thing that would allow, that would allow you to leave a legacy for your children that when you leave here, they'll still be talking about it. They ain't gonna talk about, well, you know, that, that was, don't take his plate. Like, that's silly stuff. Don't get distracted by silly stuff, all right? Stay focused, stay on the course, and don't be fooled by the enemy. Submit to God, resist the enemy, and he will flee from you. That is my faith walk for today, ladies and gentlemen.